So you might be trying to figure out how you can turn off the SOS icon inside of your particular, you know, iPhone. Now doing this is very basic, but if you take a look at the top left or right corner, depending on your particular iPhone, you might see an SOS icon. And the main way to go and fix this for the most part, it's a very, very basic thing. It really just comes down to whether you have a SIM card installed on your phone, an eSIM installed on your phone, or if your phone is basically just, you know, doesn't have any signal. Now, if you're inside of an airplane or if you're inside of like an area that has a really, really bad signal, you might actually see that you're getting basically no signal at all. And because of that, your SOS icon might be visible or it might be being showed. So the main way to go and fix this is to get into an area that has better signal. That's by far the easiest way to go and fix this problem. And normally for me, whenever I see the SOS icon in the top right corner, it's usually because of me not having any signal. But the other thing you may want to double check is if it's a brand new phone or something like that, you may just want to double check that your you know, phone is fully functional and you have your SIM card or eSIM installed inside of your phone. So hop inside of your iPhone settings just like this. You're going to tap into cellular, which is right there. And you will see a bunch of things basically coming up inside of your particular iPhone application. So what you want to do here is you just want to make sure that your particular eSIM, all your information, your phone number, everything like that is being showcased right here. So what you're going to want to do now is once you see all the SIM card information, you're, pro you're probably okay. But if you don't see any SIM card information inside of cellular, that is probably a problem. And you may want to contact your cell phone provider to get that signal and to get that eSIM installed inside of your device or your physical SIM card. Now, if that's not working either, another thing you may want to try doing is restarting your phone. So holding down the buttons you normally would to restart your device, you want to slide to power off. And once you slide to power off, you want to go and turn your phone back on. And that could very well end up fixing the problem as well. If that still doesn't work, you may want to make your way back into your iPhone settings like this. Scroll down into general settings, which is right here. Scroll into software update right there. And you essentially just want to go ahead and update your phone if there is an update available. And that might end up fixing the problem for you as well. So that's basically the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.